G'day mate and welcome back to Factorio with me, Jetty. Hope everybody's doing better than I am. I'm sort of under the weather a little bit, but in our last episode, in our last episode, we managed to get some robots up and running. Have some robots up and running, have them flying around, have put down some blueprints, have forgotten to hook up some power poles, but, you know, they've been ghosted in now, so eventually the bots will get to it. Uh, we do have uh, a little problem with our defences here, as in they're not connected up, uh, and we also have a problem with how um, technically we're not making furnaces. So we probably need to sort that out as well. Uh, so that's going to be the big projects for today's episode. Get some furnaces up and running. Get some boats up and running. This is going to be a copper smelter as soon as we get some ships to actually drop off some fuel. So that's going to be our start. That's going to be our start, I think. Uh, now, to, can I craft? I can craft some of those. You know what? Let's craft some of those. Well, let's pull you up. And uh, pull. turn you guys off. Pull you up. Because we put this one off center last time. And if I re -ghost that down, that should, should fix that problem. And at least then we can have this island hooked up to the robot network as well. If I pop one of those there, come on, reach, reach. All right, maybe not quite reach. There we go. And no, I can't, cannot craft enough to get that one hooked up. But you know. It's mostly fine on that island. At least now it connects into the grid like it should. We just need to go grab, well, everything. Everything. Uh, so this episode, this episode I have a shippy out of fuel. Of course I do. Uh, we, which means, yes, we need to go unblock the Panama Canal. Where the hell are we? A long way away. Awesome. So we need to go unblock the Panama Canal. Uh, at the same time, I want to get that copper smelter up and running. Okay, if we get that copper smelter up and running, we can have the copper ships divert down there. We can have dedicated copper. It will simplify our loading and unloading. Do I have fuel on me? No. Awesome. We're charging over here without fuel. Uh, where is the home boat? Boat. Come meet us there. Uh, passenger present. There we go. All right. So uh, get this guy up and running. The other thing I want to do is I want to try and improve the smarts. I think we can make the smarts better. Maybe. Maybe. Jetty and Smarts is like a 50-50 hit and miss. Chance are everything will go bad. Uh, let's craft that, craft that. And uh, you know what? Whilst we can grab resources on the way past. Craft up some of those. Alright. Oh, actually, there's fuel ships right here. Oh, there's loaders missing. Thanks, friends. Always good when the friends stop by and, you know, just break everything. Uh, can I grab... Maybe only half the amount of fuel. And we'll load you up. And then try not to get run over by a boat. Okay, so with that fixed, uh, where's our home boat? Uh, yeah, decided you can go back to port. You are nowhere near us anyway. Alright, we'll just run across... It's fine. I need exoskeletons. Uh, bad fox, no Discord ping for live YouTube stream. Bad snow, so there was a ping an hour ago. You, you, what you do is you go and click and say, "Hey, uh, please tell me, right? When? Uh, please remind me when the stream goes live on YouTube." And then you get a notification. Notification to go with your notification. Uh, I want this island. This island has, thankfully, uh, two of those. Has a whole bunch of stone. So we're going to drop you there. We're going to drop you there, you there, a red chest there, a power pole in there, and we'll set you up to do stone furnaces. And one stack. One stack should be heaps. In the meantime, start crafting. Okay. Uh, actually, let's just hit that with a casual upgrade planner. Okay. So that should be that problem solved. Uh, we'll also collect some miners whilst we're here, as always. Because home island is just about out of iron. You're out of iron. You're out of iron. You're useless. Uh, is that everything? I uh, might want to... Yeah, toggle. Yeah, okay. 
Go on, bots. You guys can pick that stuff up. Alright, so with that up and running, I think... I think we're good. I think that'll get built without too much hassle. We need to colonize this one still. And Stone Island. Uh, we also need another boat. So let's set up the boat. Uh, that's my little my little transportation boat. Uh, where are we? So throw you down. Grab some fuel. Throw that in there. Uh, we want you to go to... Uh, okay, first off, we want you to go to Copper Smelter. Uh, empty. And we want you to go to McCopper. Uh, and we'll go with full or inactivity or time passed. Uh, 30 and 180. Now, the problem is, I don't think there's fuel down there yet. I can definitely confirm there's no fuel down there yet. What is the story with our smart boats? You're picking up fuel. And you are going and picking up ammo, fuel, and then going to the next smart port. And as there's a number of smart ports out there, um, you're fairly busy. So what do we got in the way? Coal? Plenty of coal. Uh, we'll load you up with coal as well, and we'll send you on your way. At least then that should get that smelter up and running. Meanwhile, so let's take our personal boat, and we'll go for a drive to there. Yeah, I think to there, drop off some ammo. And then we'll get working on the next island. Uh, and we'll do that by slapping that right there with maybe less power pole spaghetti. Just a little bit. Uh, that doesn't need to be there. That doesn't need to be there. That doesn't need to be there. That should be... Can I get that? Can I say... Uh, new contents of blueprint. I want everything between there and there without that. Without that. Without that. Without that. Without... Those power poles. And without the belt. And without those power poles, I think. And select blueprint. Okay, we missed two. And the rover ports. Crap. Try that again. There to there. Without that, without that, and that. Uh, like I said, bit of a head cold. We're doing well. Okay, without those guys. Come on, right click on everything. And um, save blueprint. Uh, nope, I want to nope. Bad boat. That's what I was afraid of. Come back to here. Passenger present. Passenger not present. Cool. Now you're going to be thoroughly confused. All right. Where were we? Uh, we were clearing off power poles. Okay. Those ones. Those ones. Those ones. That one. Save blueprint again. Double check. There we go. That looks like a goer. Alright, so that should get that island up and populated. Meanwhile, we'll pop down here and hopefully, yes, we've got fuel being dropped off. Perfect. And ammo is being dropped off as well. And you're set to... Okay, so we know we need to change that to two stacks and change that to at least a whole row. And give new contents for blueprint. There to there without that tile and we wanted uh, not trains and not train fuel without the water as well okay that should be corrected now all right so we just need copper to be delivered here 
and you are waiting for the other one to get out of the way. As soon as it's out of the way, we'll load up with copper and we'll drop off some copper. Great. Okay. And you have ammo. Uh, you know what? We will take, without getting run over, we'll take a detour to here now. Uh, cancel that one. Uh, passenger present, passenger not present. Cool. Now you're thoroughly confused and you'll never run away. Uh, that'll probably get sorted by the robots. Probably. And the fuel just disappears. Yeah, it's going to take a while to get fuel through this whole build. A long while. It's fine. The fuel will get done sooner or later. Alright. Um, okay. Pretty sure that boat just got a kill. Which boat? That boat? Mm, train kills one. Yeah, it did. Cool. Alright, so with that done, we're going to grab a smart port. Uh, as always. Drop that right there. We will... Bring that into there. Uh, can I have any of this stuff on me? I have one item. Uh, oh, that's alright. I went to go get materials to make more of those. I have two... 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 Okay, and we don't need, if once this island's done, that is the big thing, once this island's done, we no longer have to defend the top of this, the bottom of that, so that should free up some resources, some room, uh, but it does mean I want to move this belt, and of course I forgot to grab materials, because yes, I have a head cold, so everything is a struggle today, uh, welcome to the man flu with JD. Uh, we're going to rip up that, and we're going to rip up that. And so I want two. No, I want power first. Then I want miners in set to two with power pulp. Thanks. Thanks, robots. You're super helpful. Okay. Straight line for miners. Miners and power. Uh, you know what? I'm super lazy. We're just going to duplicate this over and over. It's not ideal. It's a little bit wasteful, but it really doesn't matter too much because we have robots to do the work for us. Uh, let's move that to there. Alright, so this will be another iron mine, because one of the things we have problems with is loading and unloading the boats quick enough, because uh, we just don't actually have enough iron anywhere. Uh, defending that corner is going to be difficult. Uh, put the rails parallel to the water, you have fewer belts to merge together. True. True. We'll blame that on a later JD problem. How the hell do I mine that? Uh, not like that. Crap. Yeah. Uh, let's bring that belt up into there. No. Uh, come on, all that needs to go away. I need room to think and move. Alright, we're going to have to put a power pole in there. We're going to have to copy that. Mm, yeah. I'm going to have to build a whole lot of guns on a 45. Because that's Jetty's favorite thing now. Building anything on a 45 degree angle. Alright, bring that down to there. Bring that down and across and in. If we had a decent amount of lasers, that would be a much better option. Uh, actually, we're going to need more guns here. Cool. That gets some of that. Not all of it, but some of it. 
Uh, just a liter of water away. Crap. Thank you. Advantage of being live. It doesn't sit in the comments for a week. And I forget out about it for three months like some inserters previously. Okay, so that should power everything back up. Uh, let's put those around the outside as well. Okay, and then can I get a real miner, please? Uh, you are going to get out of my way just a few more tiles, please. Sure. Yeah, I think this one we're going to power up with undergrounds. Actually, we have substations. We have the power of the substation. Where is the substation? Uh, okay, so if I drop down a substation, which comes with its own inbuilt lighting, which is super handy for when we're playing in the dark. Put one there, one there, one there. One there, one there. That's everything powered. And run these belts out. And how many miners is this? This is 28 miners, which is a belt. That's 33 miners, which is a belt, which is unfortunate because all of this is two belts worth of iron. Yeah, we need more iron, a lot more iron. Um, okay, so you guys can go into that one. You can merge together like that. You can have a splitter with a splitter. So we get some sort of even merging. And like I said, all that for two belts worth. All right, so we need to get a unload like so, except we're going to simplify that down a whole lot. Uh, let's put an underground from there to there. And we'll just drag these belts down and in. And then we need to question where the hell the robots are. Because I sort of expected somebody would have shown up by now. Anyway? Uh, that's not powered. Really? Okay, there might be a flaw in the blueprint. No, no power still. What? Oh, that's also not connected? Okay, we definitely need to improve Jetty's blueprinting skills. Uh, wake up. I'm awake. How you doing, Lions? Uh, uh, security delivering flu. Uh, why not have a smelter right there instead of using a central smelter? Because I want to try and keep with centralized smelting. Uh, and the biggest problem with having distributed smelting everywhere is that's fine until the uh, resource runs out. Once the resource runs out, then you run into a situation where where you have to start ripping up your smelters, which is something I'm trying to avoid doing. Mm. Bigger buffer? Uh, yeah, probably. Okay, that was convenient. Now let's, uh, nope. Unmerge that. And double it. Uh, I didn't realize bots could put down all four at once. Okay. All right, that should do for buffer wise. That should get loaded. Uh, that, can I build, I can build one floating electric pole because that got taken out a long time ago. We'll also put in the port. Okay, so that should be it up and running. Robots are finally showing up. Excellent, they should power up everything else. We don't have a radar down there because I don't think radars are in the network. Uh, but we have bonus radars here. So, which radars don't we need? We don't need you and you. We do need one radar at each corner. Uh, actually, we'll keep you and we'll move you. Just to make sure that we have complete coverage 
so I can map view to anywhere. Okay, so that should definitely put a radar down there. Uh, I won't need that radar. And the bot should get this done. The one thing we're going to run a short on is mini loaders. And we'll just craft them up and dump them in the network. The filter ones are down. The power poles will get done. We'll take our speedy boat. And uh, go look at smarts for smelting. Because one of the problems we've got is our boats are overloading resources. So we can see this one has 11k iron and 8k copper. And it's meant to have 10k of each. And it's going to keep loading in iron. So I need to improve the smarts on the boats. Which means Jenny gets to do smarts. Which is always entertaining because nothing ever goes wrong. And I definitely know what I'm doing first attempt. 5% of the time. Uh, let's throw some lasers in there. And maybe some lasers in here. Probably some lasers in there. And that seems to be taking care of the friends still fairly well. Uh, we're probably going to need some lasers on this island when we get that far. Pollution is actually not too bad down there. Uh, where am I? I am just about to jump off. Oh. Okay. So, smarts. First thing we need to do is we need to read stop train and also read the train contents. That's going to be important. Next thing we need to do is um, think. All right. So we have a first decider combinator. Decider combinator spits out the total amount. I uh, know the train number. So the train number gets passed over here with its requirement. What train are we? We're train 42. No, thanks. Bye. Next. Are you coming into the smelter? You are. Cool. Uh, we want passenger present. Passenger not present. Perfect. Alright, so you are train number 31. So we just need to find T31. Uh, 90, 87, 49, 42, 28. What the hell are you doing here? You're here for copper. Kid! I have six boats and five lots of combinators. Let's see the very first problem we have. Uh, okay, so first things first. Let's take a green wire and plug that one in there. It was train 41, right? Thirty-one. Uh, Thirty-one, which wanted copper. Uh, we now have train number 90, so let's change you to passenger, passenger, and, 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 and. Okay, never mind. You're going to be a victim. Alright, so train number 31 outputs... Which has not had copper in it for a long time. Where the hell were you going? To red ships. We haven't had some red ships for a while because we haven't had copper. Okay, so you are now train 31. So train 31 needs copper. This takes in uh, anything input being the train ID and the copper amount. And outputs that to there, which is... That says 50,000. 50,000 is a little bit more than what I wanted. Uh, we need to change this over somehow. Uh, output. So if I did T, uh, Greater than zero output input count. Input count. So the combinator copper is less than 4,000. Uh, that's a 
that's the thing I need to worry about after I get this set up correctly. Uh, green wire there to there. So you're receiving a T31. I want T greater than zero. And let's also take oh, that seat. Please don't boo, -boo, boo it too far. Uh, crap, we've also got electricity problems. Uh, I need a I need a pole. I need a pole. Okay, so you got 7k, which is what's in the train. If I set that to minus 10,000, just so I got a number to work with, you're still getting 5.5, .5, which is way more than what I wanted. Alright, alright, hang on. Constant with negative value into the train number. Into the train number. Uh, remove the, uh, it's not needed. Connect the common, cost common to the input of the side up with a red wire. Uh, connect the output of the side of the loaders with a condition of. Okay, hang on. Uh, actually, let's bring that to there. Let's get a red wire from here to here. And sad thing is I had this working pre-stream, but I forget how to do it entirely now. Uh, can I get one of them, please? Alright, so I want green wire for train ID. Uh, and then we want a decider. So the decider is going to be train ID uh, equals... What's the train ID? Uh, is 31. 31. Output input gear. So, you do really have steel and other things on you? You do. Okay. And then we want to have a green wire, no, a red wire, there to there, which can be minus 10,000. And you output minus 2.2, .2, which is 2.2 .2 would fill that up. Okay, so that's the new setup, which means I just need to copy all this to here and then rearrange everything. Awesome. Okay, uh, let's put a wire. A wire to here. And. And then I need to set these to if this is greater than zero. Uh, if this is less than zero. So I need to reverse this. Yes. Okay. All right. So I need to duplicate this down. How many trains are we up to? Uh, six. Six. Okay. Uh, can I get five of those? Oh, I've already got some of them. And deciders. Uh, all right. Uh, copy that to there. Set that to no idea and no idea. Uh, you are train number 90. Can I set you to 90, please? 90, please. Uh, then you're going to be steel. Uh, I need to carry that green wire through. Thank you. And I also need to carry uh, everything else on a green wire. So let's also do a green wire. There to there to there. There to there to there to. <sighs> Always with more wire. Craft faster. Okay. Uh, copy that one to there. That's five. Uh, steel, steel and iron, iron and copper, iron and copper. And okay, and then thirty-one, ninety, eighty-seven. Yes, eight hundred and seventy-three. Come on. Uh, 
Forty nine, forty two. Uh, Jelly doing smarts. I know, and twenty eight. Okay, problem is I don't know what any of these boats are meant to have. So you are meant to have uh, or or close and close. You are boat number. 31, which was meant to have 4k. You, you're slightly overloaded now, uh, but that should be fine. You just off. So I need to cut this combination and put it here instead. So then we need to do green in and green out. Uh, you are number 90, which is the second one. Uh, you want 10k and 3k. So if I set you to uh, minus 10,000 and minus 3,000, they're all set to if. Copper is less than zero, so I need to set this to less than zero. Copy and paste to all of them. Set this to less than zero as well. And if I turn you on... Oop! Oh, bad boat. what I do wrong? Uh... Read train contents, read stop train. You're inputting input signals, you don't have an output. Output uh, everything input count. There we go! I was hoping we'd just get away with the input count, but all right, everything input count. All right, providing that's done, you should be loading. I call you loading. And we should have... Uh, we should need 2,500 steel and 4,000 iron. That is correct. You are running. Excellent. Go away, power pole. We have made, a, we have made an improvement. Uh, so now I need to find the next boat. You are boat number 42. What did I say about blocking up Panama Canal? Uh, 42. 42 is that one. Uh, your orders are four and three. So four for iron, three for copper, uh, minus 4,000, and minus 3,000. Uh, I'm assuming you want to come here as well. Yes, you do. Uh, eight and two for 49. Uh, 90, 89, 49. Uh, what was that? Four and two. I forget already. Uh, two and eight. Uh, minus eight thousand. Okay, so that's that one done. Uh, you do not want to come here. And you do. You're looking for minus a thousand steel. And you are boat number 87. That one? Uh, minus a thousand. So who's not set? Uh, just boat number 28. So who's boat 28? Uh, you are! And you want 10 and 10. Okay, well that's pretty easy. So, uh, minus 10,000 copy and minus 10,000. Done. Alright, are you happy? So we want a inactivity condition on you as well. And in theory, we've improved all our smarts. Which means, hopefully, we stop overloading steel into some of these boats, which have a ridiculous amount of steel. I don't know which one it is. One of these boats had like 10,000 steel in it. And didn't really need steel in it. So that should solve that problem. Uh, you're off. You have... Okay, first off, you're boat number 90. You have 7 and 3. Uh, okay, a little bit short on iron, but it's an improvement. You already have enough copper for boat number 42. Uh, 
42 is that one. And which means you shouldn't load any more copper in. You are not. Perfect. Uh, yeah, disabled by control behavior. Excellent. Which means you're only loading iron. So now we should stop, hopefully, wasting resources. Uh, I need to have a bunch of loaders in the network. Throw those in the network. And... Uh, apart from that, that looks like that island is up and running. It has a smart port that obviously hasn't had anything show up yet. I'm outside the logic range. Of course I am. Uh, drop them on the ground and deconstruct them. Okay, bots will come pick that up. That's an improvement. You have four bits of copper, which you shouldn't have. And we've improved the smarts. All right, so with the smarts improved, this up and running, we still have an issue with not enough iron coming in. That's built. And we also need to grab that stone eventually. What else wanna try and get knocked off this episode? I wanted to look at science, yes. We could make purple, or we could make yellow. Yellow gives us a request chest. We already have flying robot frames, so it means we'd have to either look at making low density structures, which is a bunch of copper with a touch of plastic with a bunch of steel. We don't have any iron. Or we could look at blue circuits. Blue circuits, a bunch of iron, a bunch of green circuits, which is of course iron and copper. Do we have green circuits? We have nineteen thousand. You have thirty-five thousand in the boat. I don't think you actually need thirty thousand. Uh, we might say item count. Uh, green circuits. Uh, I'm thinking uh, if cargo is greater than 10,000, that's probably going to do us. Just throwing it out there. Might also say the same for, you know, uh, um, um, item count uh, those um, if, if it's greater than, say, 3,000. Even that. 2,000. 2,000 seems great. Uh, now, import. Oh, there's lube that has to get dropped off of that port. Well, that tank is full anyway. Uh, okay, what happens if we come in here? Uh, so, we're going to set you to item count and item count. We want that. And that to equal zero. And I do need you to move out of the station, but we can set it to 180. Yes. Just the same as we can set that to 100. Uh, we'll leave it at 30. Okay, so that should hopefully have that boat moving around less, which also means hopefully we have more green circuits hanging around. You are boat number 28, which was near the bottom. Yes, you need 10k of each. There's 8k there, there's 2k there. You'll actually fill up. Okay. Uh, Alright. So we have a small improvement there. Uh, let's grab all of those. And... What next? What next is going to be the critical question? Uh, don't get run over by this boat. Oh, set this boat to... Uh, time passed. 180 seconds and... Yes, because it keeps doing loops. Uh, and most of the stone we're not actually using. Okay, so that's done, that's done. Uh, that iron is very, very much running out. Uh, we already have an alternative iron source. So that should be fine. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Uh, that island is still defended as is. Okay, let's grab you as well. Okay, so green circuits are about to dry up. Good to know. Uh... We did grab just a few, which I will not drop into storage because it turns out storage is full. Uh, we'll drop half in there. All right, so. You have copper, great. All right, so the only thing I want to do is I definitely want to have a whole bunch of loaders pre-done. 
we can now have those, which should speed up that process. We can also have some of those in our pocket, which should speed up that process if I pick up some of those as well. Steel is not here. A boat? You're meant to have steel on you. Why don't you have steel? Uh, let's change that to 4,000. Okay, more steel would be nice. Because if we had steel, we could have mini loaders, which I sort of need. But apart from that, that seems to be running. New smelters running. Uh, Going to automate loaders. I'd love to, but I don't really... Not without a lot of spaghetti, we can't really automate them. That's the issue. Because I don't have a way to get things around correctly. Um... We need steel, which we've got. We need undergrounds, which are here. Which we could probably take out with an inserted dump on a belt. Uh, we could do the same with the reds. We'd have to get fast inserters out plus stack inserters. Maybe, maybe it can be done with significant amounts of spaghetti. Maybe. High significant amounts of spaghetti. But what's a bit of spaghetti between friends? Do you do need red, red, red loaders on both sides? I do, I do, I do. Uh, it would have been ideal to have them on both sides, but I just didn't have them at the time. So I half upgrade it, hoping to come back and re-upgrade it later. And re-upgrading things has proven to be difficult. Uh, okay, so first one needs to do... Uh, red and soda. Okay, so you need to have undergrounds, which we're going to grab undergrounds from there. And... I want that one. Oh, I want that one. Um, I want a loader. Okay, so inserters. Inserters are really cool uh, in the way they don't listen to you. Uh, but what they do do is they do put things on... Inserters put things on the far side of the belt. So with uh, things on the far side of the belt... It means I should... I want to come down a tile. Should be able to get undergrounds on one side and then have, uh, with a loader pushing onto the other side, should be able to get undergrounds into that one. You also need steel, which is done. Plus you need uh, fast inserters and we need stack inserters. So fast inserters are going to have to come out like so. Uh, yes. Um... Um, um, uh, okay, patience. We'll work that out in a sec. Uh, okay, so you're going to go on the far side of the belt. Actually, if I put a belt there, we just need you to come out at a really odd angle and go straight into there without obscene amounts of spaghetti. Yes, uh, what was that about obscene amounts of spaghetti? Um... Where's one of those right angled inserters when you want one? Okay, so let's go fast and filter. I know I, I don't have filter inserters automated. We need filters for that one. I don't have filter inserters automated. Uh, so if we go there to there with an inserter, you'll sideload into the underground, which is going to be wrong. Uh, Gonna have to do that. Yes. Okay, so that's those two items out at least. Come on, up to here. Across there. We're right beside the bottom wall. Uh Apple. Alright, so that'll be steel if we had any. 
if we had any. Can we break a boat? No, you just want steel as well. Make iron, which is loading slowly. Uh, plus we have oil drop, which is coal. Plus we have make copper, which grabs copper 20k and then goes and grabs iron. And you are not running because of power. And fuel. And you're trying to get into that station. And where's your friend? Your friend is still trying to drop off fuel here. Which actually looks like... Well, this end's got fuel at least. Okay, you need to do a few more laps to, to have enough fuel. Okay, so. Uh, point is, we should have... Where if I have steel? If I have steel, we should have one out of two automated. Uh, can I put one of those there with one, uh, one of those instead? Uh, filter, logic, I want a loader. Okay. All right, to get a filter inserter, we need fast inserter and we need green circuits. Green circuits are here, fast inserters are there. Uh, if I dragged, what else do we need? The exact same ingredients, except rather than a faster filter. Maybe. Uh, okay, remove that. Let's say about a little bit of spaghetti between friends. Okay, uh, we put that there with another one there. We're gonna have you make filter inserters, which is a fast and a green circuit. Uh, can I just get a crappy inserter? There and there, into there. You're gonna make filter inserters. Uh, and undergrounds. Undergrounds are up there. Do that again. Let's put you. Here. With undergrounds. Uh, put you. There'll do. Uh, input, uh, input, input, uh, power pole about there, there, and there, which we'll throw power poles at the problem. You can now do filter inserters. Okay, so filter inserter is going to grab an inserter plus a green circuit. You're going to make a filter inserter. You are going to make that one instead. And that's that problem sorted. You are making those. We want to have red undergrounds, which is that belt. Plus, we want to have stack inserters. Plus, we want to have you two as a combination. Plus, we want to have that. We want to cap you via wires. Wires, wires, wires. Uh, we want to say if that is... Enable if that is less than 50. Let's go with 50. Uh, and we'll copy that again. Paste that over there. I have no idea what blue one's going to cost us. Uh, but that seems like a later jetty problem. Also, filter... Stack filter inserter. That's a little bit more difficult. Can I... Well, actually, is it? It's not, is it? No. Uh, okay, so one of those there. Uh, can I copy that, please? Paste that there. Change that to that one. Uh...
Okay, so you need one of those, plus you need one of those. Uh, you're going to set to red ones. Uh, we need another one of there. Come on, assembler. Uh, I want stack. Which should be as simple as that. Right? You don't have an output, but that seems like a minor issue. Okay, so that's making stack filters, red undergrounds, which are on that belt. Uh, you don't actually need that inserter. Uh, we need a wire plugged from there to there. And you're going to be that condition copied and just changed over to that one. You're already set for filter. You are now set for filter. Uh, you are set for filter. And I think by the power of automation, we have all loaders at least we're using up and done. Like I said, no idea what the blue one's going to cost me, but that seems like a totally a later jetty problem. Uh, we managed to spaghetti it in here somehow. We have all the boat parts automated, apart from boats themselves. And even though I have a head cold, crap. Why? Why? Crap. Uh, I think the filter on the Need to correct storage filter, filter, filter. I think the filter on the filter loader storage chest is set to be a normal loader. It is. It is now not. Thank you. Okay. Where is Bodie McBoat? Uh, did we unload fuel to this island? We did not. Why boat run out of fuel? This is the important question. Also, why are we not tapping that little bit of coal? Oh, no, you'll get power. Okay, let's go for a drive. Uh, we want to go... Fine, go there first. Yes, because of all the smart top stops and everything else, we're going to go the longest way possible, but that's fine. All right. You are green ships export and import for engines. Engine. You have fuel. Did you got fuel? You got 448 fuel. I would assume that means you got fuel. And green ships export, being that one right there, does not have fuel. Uh, well, it does have fuel. So how did you run out of fuel, sir? That's the vital question. Uh, can I close that? How did you manage to run out of fuel? You have fuel. You have fuel. And engine export, which is that one, technically doesn't have fuel. And we remove one too many radars. Uh, can I put a radar back in that corner, please? Two out of three. Really? Where are you going? To the smelter. Fine. Just give me the fuel. I'll meet you over there, boat. <sighs> Hasn't f had fuel all episode. No, I already fixed that. Probably went around circles because of unloading station full. Unloading station can be conditionally full. Filled. Ah, that's probably it. Because we just added the conditions to this guy. Yeah, we just added the conditions to that. So it's been looping forever. Uh, not actually picking up any fuel. 
Okay. Alright. Back in my little boat. Can I clear this traffic jam somehow? You're waiting for a lot. Uh, just go away. Uh, let's remove that. And let's go to here. Yeah, because that does not have ammo. <laughs> Come on, boats! Out of my way. Uh, oh, that was the other one I want to do. I want you to do off. Yes, because we have a lot of blue packs sitting in a box. Yeah, a lot, a lot of blue packs sitting in a box. Uh, okay, we still haven't got fuel down here because boats are stupid. You are going up to McCopper again, which I cannot remove from the list unless I go put a smart station over there. And uh, where's your friend? Your friend keeps dropping fuel at here, and it's still not full. Because each one of these is going to want, what, like five fuel apiece? Uh, plus six fuel apiece, plus everything on the belt, which is a lot. More traffic jams. This is not out of fuel traffic jams. Mm, uh, got a nothing from us. So Pathfinding prefers going around two or three islands over passing through the stop, the stop in the ship schedule. Yes. Because we have the smart stations here, these add a penalty of 16, 1600, 1600 tiles, I believe it is. So consequently, rather than a ship taking a nice direct route, because these smart fuel, uh, smart ports, uh, ships are going much, much further out of their way, which is costing us fuel and time. So one of the things we need to try and get in the not too distant future, what the hell are you doing? Go, go. Out of my way. Uh, one of the things we need to get done is I need to get request chests uh, set up. That way we can have fuel just dropped off directly via robots. And once we get that done and lasers with a bit more pew pew, just a tiny bit more pew pew, uh, we should be in a situation where I can remove all the smart ports and then we'll have a lot better pathfinding for the boats. At the same time, we did mix up power for a second there. Uh, P for power. Uh... Uh, it's production. I want... Gimme. Um... We're okay for a little bit longer. Not much. And yeah, until this gets actual fuel, I can't really send a unloading boat across. But I can take all the ammo and shove it in all the boxes. No. Bad boat. Bad boat. Bad boat. Alright. Uh, actually... You know what? You know what? We're down here. We have coal in our inventory. Uh, pop the boats there. Pop the fuel in there. And... Does this station have a name? No, it doesn't. It's gonna be... Uh... Okay, uh, so we're going to go to uh, Iron Ore 3. Um, you can sit here forever. Full cargo. Uh, and then you can go to Smeltery, 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 Smeltery. Uh, did we give the Smeltery a symbol yet? No, we didn't. It's still called Smeltery. Uh, and then we're going to go with Inactivity, Time Passed, or Item Count. Uh, go. So item count is going to be obviously iron ore equals zero. Uh, five seconds of inactivity should be fine. 180 seconds passed overall. And you should get loaded with hopefully as much iron as you can possibly fit. And... Those are 5,000 slots. That has 2,800 slots. Uh, do I have steel on me? Okay, we're going to... Unmerge that real quick. We're gonna, yeah, and then remerge that together. Uh, Three thousand five hundred compared to five thousand slots. That's probably enough. 
in in uh, loading 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 okay cool all right so we've got a boat at least getting loaded up it should get a decent amount of iron ore into it this uh, outpost seems to be working we have a little home boat which will sit in for the next episode we have loaded ammo onto this island at least we do have the copper smelter up and running with probably needs bigger buffers all around uh, but at least it is running and it has fuel at one end. Yeah, we might need to put fuel at the other end. Uh, can I have one of them? Uh, yep. And no, that can go to there. You're in the way. Uh, you come sit here instead. And now loaders are automated. I can also put that there without a problem. And at least now we have a dedicated copper. Which means, next episode, next episode, we can look at uh, low density structures. Low density structures. We probably still have an iron problem. We do have another patch to have iron down here. We can ex just expand down there with robots and have the... Well, we'd have to clear out the biters, but we can grab that for more iron. Or hopefully, with what we've got here currently, we can at least get in the smelting up and running to speed. The other option I have is the good old upgrade planner and a whole lot of steel furnaces. We could upgrade all this to red belt, process things twice as fast. Probably not a bad idea, but we'll worry about all that in the next episode because uh, we have been going at it for another hour. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. Hopefully by the weekend, uh, it's two to two thousand penalty. Oh, okay. There you go. I thought it was sixteen hundred. It's it's changed a couple of times between sixteen, seventeen, factorial sixteen, seventeen, and now. But hopefully by the weekend, I no longer have a head cold and things will continue back to normal. Because uh, right now, I gotta tell you, I feel miserable. But with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the very next stream. All right, bye.